Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at an example that involves using L'Hopital's rule more than once. So uh, L'Hopital's is something you use when you get zero over zero or infinity over infinity when you take a limit. And uh, what'll happen here is we'll use it once and we'll get that scenario again. And so we'll just keep going. So here is the example that we're gonna look at. And I'm gonna do uh, kind of scratch work on the left-hand side and then better work on the right-hand side. So. Initially, I look at this, it's limit as x approaches infinity of the quantity natural log of x squared over e to the 2x. I look at that, I think natural log of x goes to infinity as x goes to infinity. So natural log of x squared will definitely do that. So this is going to equal uh, infinity in the numerator and then e to the 2x tends toward infinity as x goes to infinity. So it's over infinity. So that's the work that I do 98% of the time. But if a question says to uh, you know, show formal work or just the best work you can, uh, I will also do something like this. So I'm gonna write out what happens. So since the limit as x approaches infinity of basically the numerator is infinity and the limit as x approaches infinity of basically the denominator is infinity, L'Hopital's rule applies. Um, and now what I'll do is apply L'Hopital's rule. So here, I like to draw that arrow and just say that I'm using L'Hopital's. And so for L'Hopital's, it's gonna be the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. The numerator is kind of, it's a composition. So I'm gonna use chain rule. So it's, I see something squared. So it's gonna be two times that thing. And then times the derivative of that thing, the derivative of natural log is one over x. Um, I'm using different colors so I can kind of like show where things go when I simplify. And then over the derivative of the denominator is just chain rule. So it's gonna be two e to the two x. So this looks like something that um, I'd wanna simplify before trying to do anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the twos cancel, um, natural log of x stays in the numerator. That one over x, I'm gonna bring the x to the denominator, which is why I kind of color coded it orange. Um, and then e to the 2x is still there. So uh, in my more formal work, having applied L'Hopital's rule, I would now just write that the limit as x approaches infinity of the original is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of, having applied L'Hopital's rule, the natural log of x over x e to the 2x. Uh, okay, so now I just wanna try to evaluate on the left-hand side. I, so the natural log of x definitely goes to infinity um, x times e to the 2x definitely goes to infinity. So I have this. My better work, I would just write that out in words. So I have written that. So now I'm gonna apply L'Hopital's rule again. So on the left-hand side, I would show this. So I wanna stress, I, I do the work on the left-hand side more often than I do the work on the right-hand side. The right-hand side is a lot of writing. That's like free response question on the AP exam quality work. Um, on the left-hand side, it's like doing a lot of homework problems type of work. And uh, let's apply L'Hopital. So it's gonna be still the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, the derivative of natural log of x is one over x. And that's over. We have a product in the denominator, so I'm gonna use the product rule. So it's first, the derivative of the second is two e to the two x. And then plus second is e to the two x, and then the derivative of the first is just one, so e to the two x. This again is something that I'm gonna algebraically simplify. So you kinda always wanna make your life easier that way if you can. So after using L'Hopital's, always look to simplify. So this will simplify. I did some factoring here. Um, so I get x e to the two x, the quantity two x plus one. And then this, you can see if x approaches infinity, you definitely just get zero, right? Because it's one divided by basically infinity. So that's zero. And then I would just finish up my better looking work by writing that down. All right, so that's an example where you look at the problem to begin with, it's infinity over infinity, so that's definitely L'Hopital's rule. You apply L'Hopital's rule, you look at the new limit, you still get infinity over infinity, so you just apply L'Hopital's rule again. And in this case, we got our final answer at that point. You could have gotten infinity over infinity again, and you would have just kept going. Um, and then I also tried to show you what really nice looking work would look like for this. And I hope you found this helpful and good luck.